Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub Time for another movie review of tonight's movie, The Bay of Silence. It's been on my list for a little bit now since it came out. Um, Will, uh, some man, uh, believes, I guess um, his son gets murdered and he believes his wife is innocent. <laughs> you know, sons, or wait, believes uh, his wife of their son's suspected murder only to discover there's a devastating truth behind her past that links her to another unsolved crime. So initially he thinks she's innocent, and then he discovers something. I don't know. And uh, um, Olga Korolenko is our main actress in this. She plays the wife. Brian Cox is also in it. Other than that, I don't recognize anybody. Um, here's the deal. 4.2 on IMDb. I don't know. It seems like it could be good. 1,311 people rated it so far and it's an hour and 33 minutes left. I don't know, it seems interesting to me for some reason. I tried to stay away from as much as I could, but 4.2 is really low. So, really low expectations. Let's hope it's something good. I'm hoping, uh, but who knows. I'll get into it. I'll be the one to let you know. So stick around. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Bay of Silence. Sorry, no check-ins. Um, it was a little late in the movie when I was going to check in after I figured there was enough to tell you. And there's only 30 minutes left, so um, I'll just do it all right now, like I always do. Um, but anyway, so our main characters, um, Rosemary was her name and uh, whatever, the husband's, and Will, right? It all starts off with them meeting each other, falling in love, right? I think. Yeah, it... That's a piece I'm missing. But ultimately what happens is um, they have two daughters, twins, right? But it seems like it fast forwards nine months and she's pregnant with the boy. But yet they have twin daughters. So I missed something there. But it seems they're a family, you know, about to be a family of five. And she has this little boy. Um, and everything's great. So they have a family of five. They're all happy and whatever. And... Um, then what happens is, without going into too much detail, because half of the fun is the, the rest of the movie, but she picks up and leaves, takes the kids and their sitter, I guess, or nanny, with her, um, and just leaves Will when he's out on a business trip. So he comes home and he doesn't know what's going on. So he's trying to piece together, you know, what happened, where did she go? Um, and he is able to locate her, and that's when he discovers that his son has died and uh, you know obviously he was in her care so he thinks there's something going on there as you can imagine and the sitter is no longer there or the nanny is no longer there just his two daughters um, and when you see the situation you probably think the same as well so that's really the build of the whole thing and it spirals after that I mean not really but I mean so now as that and that was in the I just wanted to make you understand the plot that IMDb gave us a little bit better. Um, there's a lot more, there's a lot more nuances in the in the that whole piece that I didn't give you. Um, that'll still make that part interesting, but that's like in the first half hour, and then the the other hour of the film is basically trying to figure out what happened. You know, so they start to give you a little bits and pieces as you move forward to. Why did she leave? You know, a little bit of maybe what happened to the to the little boy. Um, what's behind all of this? You know, so I do think that the the big reveal was kind of lost on me initially, but they helped. I thought they did a good job at the end because I was like, I'm not quite sure I'm understanding. So Brian Cox is in the movie, as I mentioned, and this is not a spoiler alert, but I'll, maybe it'll help you. I had assumed he was either Will's father or Rosemary's father. Um, I quickly realized he wasn't Rosemary's father, but then, you know, I could have sworn he was Will's. So I didn't know, and I missed it, what the relationship between Brian Cox's character was and Rosemary throughout the, the big part of the film. Again, I thought he was one of the parents, a grandparent to the kids, um, but that's not the case. So, but it's like, um, you know, how does he fit into everything and, um, 
you know, everything that's going on. I, I didn't quite understand his role. Um, but anyway, uh, as it progresses throughout the film, they give you a little bit more and more and more until the end, and then they give you the, oh, here you go, kind of thing. And uh, I, I thought it was good. I didn't, uh, I'm trying to speak without spoiling. Um, I thought that they did, uh, I thought it was a pretty interesting movie. I was captivated, like I said, for that first, for, for the whole film. I mean, I was like, okay, I want to know more. You know, the what's going on? Why is this happening? What happened to the, the child? And, you know, and it, it's hard to watch that piece of it, but, you know, you, I thought they did a good job leading you where they wanted you to go and making you think what you wanted, what they wanted you to think, and then telling you what you should have been thinking, <laughs> if, you, if you get what I mean. Um, so, I don't understand the 4.2s, I mean, and it was a nice short film, it wasn't drug on very long. Um, I, I guess maybe, and maybe this is other people's feedback, but not under, not not fully understanding. There's enough there for me to know. Okay, I get it, but there's a little piece that it's uh, hard to connect the dots. But I might have been looking at the phone, and they might have gave you the clue for whatever I'm missing here, and I just didn't pay attention or something along those lines. I don't know. I'm Sorry if I'm rambling, I'm just warning, maybe if you watch this film, you know what I mean. Um, but in the end, I, it's not detrimental to the film. It's detrimental to me, <laughs> not uh, grasping the whole thing, but I think it's just, you know, otherwise I thought they it was a decent, fun, not fun, but entertaining movie. Captivating, if you will. I thought the acting was great. I thought Olga did a great job in her role, and... You'll see that as well. Will was kind of mundane, but not bad. And that was really all that was really in it. There wasn't much else. So, there you go. That's all I got for you. I, that's it. That's, <laughs> I was going to say something else, but I changed my mind. I'm going to leave it to you. If you like these kinds of mysteries and uh, thrillers, I mean, it's not really a thriller, but a, a good mystery, I think, you'll enjoy this. Um takes a little bit of part of it in Italy. The rest is in London, I believe. So, there you go. I don't know why I told you that, but now you know. So, if you do check it out, let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear, um, you know, maybe why you didn't like the film, if you didn't like it, because not that I loved it, but it's definitely not a four, probably at least a six. So, all right, I rambled enough. You probably already turned me off, but if you haven't, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Tell all your friends. Make sure you put in comments and continue to tune in to Kimmel's Irish Pub.
Thank you.